to the Ronnie Dale 4x4 Driving School, giving you the ultimate driving experience whilst teaching you new techniques in the modern vehicle in a fun and entertaining way. No matter what age or experience, we will turn you into a safer and more confident driver. As the handbook says, it says ram your foot on the clutch and the brake to stop and let the systems do the work for you. That is all very well on a dry road, but on the ice or in a very slippy conditions, ABS releases the brake. It does not stop you quicker, it allows you to steer under braking. So 30 miles an hour. the brake and I don't even feel myself stopping. You can hear the brakes coming on the ABS just releasing the brake the whole time. It's not the car's fault, it's the technique. That's what we're after. And the Ronnie Dale 4x4 driving school is to give you the right techniques of how to drive in slippy conditions as well as having fun. The understeer is a very important factor when you turn the steering wheel and you go straight on or you slide sideways. Yeah? You don't get a contact. So I'm going to turn in a circle so we know a one turn of the steering wheel and that will give us our turning circle. So we have this turning circle and I'm slowly going to accelerate and see if we come out with this turning circle. Right, so I'm just accelerating slowly until it breaks away, yeah? Because that's what would happen. And as soon as this car breaks away, the terrain response will come in and sort it, yes? As you can see, my foot is now flat on the throttle, yeah? So it's now flat on the throttle and we're skidding and it's completely controlling the car. And now I'm going to put it into standard mode. This is grass, gravel, snow, which we call slippy conditions. And this is standard mode. In other words, the terrain response isn't working, but the DSC, the ESP, that is still working, but to a standard as if you were on a standard dry tarmac road. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, yes, we're going to slip, and then it's going to control once it's slipped. Yeah. So we'll go without with this circle. So I'm now in standard, I'm now going to accelerate, and you can see, look how much further out of the circle we are, yeah? We're a lot further out of the circle, so you could slip off the road, and then, well, you know, if you slip off the road, you're doomed. So look how much further out of the circle I've got. It's still correcting it, but I'm off the road by the time it corrects it, which is all a bit late, yeah? Now I'm going to put it switch the DSC off and I do advise you never to switch it off. This button here switches DSC off or ESP. Now if you turn the car off it will come back on again automatically or if your terrain response it will come back on automatically because it says only there if you get stuck to get out of a stuck situation. Yes it is not there so you don't have this throttle intervention. So now this is a car without DSC or ESP this would what would happen if you didn't have this. I'm going around nice and gently. I'm going to break away, accelerate, and I just go right round and do donuts. Yeah? I full throttle, get full wheel spin, the car just goes round in circles and not very nice for the environment and not very nice. But who would keep the foot flat in the throttle going round a corner anyway? You wouldn't, you would ease off. But the point is it never corrects the skid. You have to do it and that's where the technique comes in. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to 30 miles an hour 
and then when we get to the first bollard I'm going to take my feet off everything and then I'm going to swerve as if I've had to swerve on the motorway first bollard off swerve holy Moses holy Moses holy Moses oh I'm not going to get it come on round round no and bang I'm off the road I had full lock trying to correct that skid and it because I was so late in correcting it, off I went. Right now I'm going to do exactly the same thing in slippy conditions. So in slippy conditions it will react to the skid a lot quicker. Therefore the quicker you correct the skid, the easier it is. From 30 miles an hour, feet off everything when I get to the first bollard and lane change at speed with my feet off everything. So 30 miles an hour. Feet off, swerve. Come on! Hey, look at this! Hey, I'm trying my hardest to make it not work and he can... Even a 17-year-old who's ever, never driven on snow before, this is a fantastic system that will give him confidence, but he needs to know what he's doing.